early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything. It was must-see TV for millions of 90s kids. We were there to have fun, to get slimed, to be entertained. But behind the scenes of producer Dan Schneider's Nickelodeon hit shows that made stars out of Amanda Bynes, Kenan Thompson, Jamie Lynn Spears, and Ariana Grande were allegations of toxic workplace conditions. Working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. And even worse, there would be even bigger problems down the line with actual pedophiles on set. Now, for the first time, Drake and Josh star Drake Bell is sharing publicly his untold story. He was a victim of sexual abuse. I think Brian got a sense that my dad was on the watch. And so he started to really drive a wedge between my dad and me. Drake says he was sexually abused by his former dialect coach, Brian Peck, which led to Peck's conviction of sexual assault in 2004. Everybody trusted Brian. 11 charges of child sexual abuse related to a child actor. Those charges of abuse include Drake's claims that Peck would visit his home and molest him at the age of 15. The revelations are part of a two-night investigation Discovery docuseries airing this weekend. I would walk on Brian's back. I guess looking at it now as an adult, that was kind of weird. Brian Hearn and Giovanni Samuels are two former Nickelodeon child stars. When did you guys find out about Drake Bell and Brian Peck? We didn't find out about Drake initially confirmed until Quiet On Set. Finding out watching Quiet On Set was immediately brought to tears. Yeah, we both cried. Yeah. We called each other and was like, are you okay? Yeah. Did you see it? You yeah. know who it is? It was very gut-wrenching. Nickelodeon released this statement to Extra. Now that Drake Bell has disclosed his identity as the plaintiff in the 2004 case, we are dismayed and saddened to learn of the trauma he has endured and we commend and support the strength required to come forward. We were there for so many hours. You get comfortable with people until you're not. Brian and Giovanni are in disbelief that they worked so closely with multiple crew members arrested for child abuse. These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon all in a short amount of time. Jason Handy and Brian Peck that are particularly named in this documentary, both men arrested for actions against children. What can you tell me about either men? Jason Handy was a PA, and I would have Bible study with him. So to have that kind of access and not know is terrifying. Who else did he touch? Why did this happen? Investigation Discovery's Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, premieres this Sunday and streams on Max.